Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about more content that came out uh, yesterday for Summer Heat and also the big SBC that is coming today. The rat, the man himself, Ryan Kent, should be getting his SBC today. The Summer Heat fan favorite, I think it was, whatever it is, the Summer Heat voting uh, SBC for Ryan Kent should be coming out today. I want to talk about that SBC what it could do to the market because this is one of the most anticipated cards in the second half of FIFA Ultimate Team, FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So I want to talk about that SBC coming today, and I think people are going to be willing to sell some cards uh, to do that SBC, which seems crazy. And also, I believe that EA Sports is probably going to require... Um, you know, they're not going to make this SBC really cheap uh, just because they know everybody's going to do it, but we'll talk about that in a bit. First thing I want to cover is the content that just came out um, in the last day. That is the Perisic SBC, which this makes three days in a row now where we have got a, either a good value objective or a good value player SBC. Uh, this Perisic card, five star weak foot, four star skills. Uh, this is like an incredible midfielder, like a true left mid player, center mid you could play him at in game if you needed to. Uh, this card looks fantastic. The five-star weak foot is... You could even play him as center attack in mid if you really wanted to. But this is probably the best like all-around true left mid in the Bundesliga now. Uh, this card is fantastic. Bayern and Bundesliga fans rejoicing uh, at the side of this card. So Perisic, I mean, people knew about this one. People thought this was going to happen. There were some leaks around this card, and it did end up coming out. But an 85-rated squad and a TOTS slash Team of the Week player... Um, for this SBC. 75 chemistry is a bit much, but still 85 rated squad. Uh, this SBC is a W in my opinion. If you run a Bundesliga squad or if you're a Bayern fan, that's huge for you. One other thing that we got today was the, um, the Future Stars Challenge, which is unfortunately for an untradeable pack, which again is pushed, uh, which has not supplied the high rated fodder or supplied any uh, SBC fodder at all. And we have crazy, crazy prices right now on the market. For a lot of the SPC fodder. I want to talk about the other big W today. Uh, another massive objective card. Summer Heat Kessie. And this squad, th this card is so easy to complete. You can do uh, th two of these through squad battles. Professional on squad battles. You assist in two separate matches. And you score an outside the box goal in two separate matches. On squad battles, squad battles, professional difficulty. You can honestly do that in uh, Rivals as well. You could just do this Serie A score and midfield magic. Uh, you could get this done in literally uh, six games if you can win all six games. A very, very, very easy SBC or, excuse me, objective to do. And it's a very, very good card as well. Um, beast, honestly. Big fan of this content, EA. I think maybe this is EA coming back at us as the community and giving us a very easy objective after some people complained about the Mendy being just way too much to unlock, which yes, this is a lot to unlock. You I mean, you have to do a lot of games, a lot of objectives, but it's the best left back in FIFA, in my opinion, stat-wise. So uh, this one coming out as well was just nice to see a very uh, grindable and easy SBC for like, like your uh, Serie A team. Maybe you have... Uh, Teo Hernandez is your left back. Boom, there's a nice green link there to Kessie. So uh, that is a nice card that came out via objectives today as well. At the very least, it's a 94 rated card uh, that you can use in, in some way, shape, or form later on this year in FIFA, whether you just need it for an SBC uh, or whatever that may be. But that was the content for today. There's still people doing the upgrades. It is still a menu, like the, the amount of menu grinding that you can do right now is just unparalleled with all the cards that are in packs, the upgrade packs you can do, the prime icons that you can rinse into, the other player SBCs that you can still do. They're giving us daily, you know, pack SBCs. Uh, you know, we have the special bronze and silver upgrades and, you know, league SBC method right now is very grindable as well. I keep talking about like the the uh, lib sued method if you do either of these SBCs. Now, technically, if you go and look at Footbin, uh, these are inflated in price, but uh, the Libertadores SBC, Connie Bowl Libertadores SBC, you can do this SBC right now for 90,000 coins, and the price of this will actually drop a little bit if we get some tradable supply tomorrow. So 90,000 coins to do this entire SBC, which you will get, what is this, three, six, nine packs back from, which I think... Five of those nine packs contain at least some um, 
a pack with gold players in them, so you have a chance to get more special cards. And you also get a 90-rated Rojas uh, at the very end, which a 90-rated card going on the market right now is 40, let's say 40, it's like 50,000 coins beside this Elkis, and that was an SBC. So 50,000 coins right now on the market. Actually, 60. 60,000 coins for a tradable card on the market right now. So like if you do this method, right? You pay 90,000 coins to do the SBC. You get, um, you get All you have to do is make 30K back from those packs because you have 60K value in this Rojas card right here, basically, that you're putting into your club uh, to do SBCs with. It's just a fantastic, fantastic grind to do either the Libertadores or the Sudamerica SBCs right now at the moment. It's literally fantastic value. The, um, the Sudamerica SBC is a little bit cheaper and you still get a 90 rated card, uh, but the packs are just a little bit worse, I think, than Libertadores, but as well, uh, but regardless, that is just a constant menu grind that you can just keep going through. Honestly, you just keep doing that over and over and over, repeating those SBCs, getting one of those 90 rated players, and using them in some sort of other SBC. Uh, like you could do Andombele, you could do again Parasit that came out today. That could help you grind Kent if you want a way to tr try to grind that SBC. That is coming out today as well. Just tons of stuff to do right now on the menus. And we're supposed to play foot champs as well on the weekend, right? I haven't even started my games yet uh, on this Friday night. I need to get them going because we got to get at least 17 wins this weekend with the squad. I'm going to try Andombele. Um, I think what I might do is just play Andombele on, uh, what is this going to be, like 7 or 8 chem? And I just might slot him in here. Maybe I'll throw in Varan for Ramos because uh, I have Varan. So that would put everybody on, on chem except for, of course, uh, Griezmann. So we'll see. But I do want to try out Ndombele this weekend as a Spurs fan. Get some more Spurs representation. Actually, he's the only player from Spurs that would be on my squad. So I definitely need to have some Spurs representation there. But regardless, the main point of today, Saturday, on FIFA Ultimate Team is the Ryan Kent SB. See, now there's a lot of people that have been talking about, you know, this SBC is coming out. How do I get ready for it? To be honest with you, uh, there is so stuff like so many cars that are inflated on the market right now. Uh, this Ryan Kent SBC, I would not be surprised if it's going to cost you two squads, maybe like an 84 and an 85 rated squad with team of the season cards. Um, I know it's not a very linkable card. And if EA just went out and made this like an 84 or 85 rated squad, that would be dope. Uh, but just so many High rated fodders are so expensive right now. Honestly, I don't think I would buy any cards in preparation of this SBC. It might require an English player. I know some people have been buying up the Scottish uh, Premier League players. Scottish Premiership. Did I go past that league already? I might have. Uh, no, Scottish Prem. And like people have been buying up all of these players. He plays for plays for Celtic, right? Does Ryan Kent play for Celtic? I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I know he's English. That's the biggest thing. Let me find out. This is embarrassing if I'm wrong. No, he plays for Rangers. Celtics fans and Rangers fans are hating me right now. Yeah, hate to see it. But uh, Ryan Kent does play for Rangers. So people have been buying up the Rangers players. Apologize, Rangers and Celtics fans. Some people have been buying up these cards. Do I think that EA requires some of these today? I really don't think they do. Uh, I don't think you'll see... Many of these go up just because that would be so very hard for EA uh, to require this in some some sort of an SBC. Uh, so I don't see any of that coming. I think you're just going to need some some higher rated squads, and that is what you would uh, need for the Ryan Kent SBC. But it's again going to be an SBC that so many people want to do. Are you going to see some market movements with some English cards that could possibly go up a little bit? Yes. Maybe some English icons could see a bit of a jump up in price. I don't know, maybe like a, a, a Gerard or a Michael Owen, maybe. Um, some of these other popular English icons and icon moments cards, just because getting links to Ryan Kent might not be the easiest thing ever since he is English, but he's in kind of a secondary league. Um, you might see some of the English icons go up a little bit if they haven't already, especially in like the attacking and midfield uh, range of things. So maybe look into that if you want to try to buy those cards maybe tonight just to get ahead of the game. But you'll probably be better off buying those cards later in the weekend anyway because I think what's going to happen is, again, this Ryan Kent SBC is not going to... It's not going to have the amount of pull and the amount of demand that maybe a a guaranteed like Tots SBC would or like a party bag. There's, I don't think there's going to be that much hype, but there's going to be a lot of hype. A lot of the hardcore FIFA community knows about Ryan Kent. They're going to know about this card coming today. So 
I would go out and watch on the market for um, people panic selling some cards today. Is that a flipping opportunity? If it is, it's going to have to be a very short-lived flipping opportunity because it's going to be, again, Saturday when the weekend league sell-off is going to be starting. Uh, you're probably going to see a little bit of sell-off headed into the morning. Actually, this Hakimi card is down a little bit. I sold some today for like 207,000 coins. So some stuff I've seen on the market at least in the past, you know, four or five to six hours has started to drop a little bit. Yes, Kenny Lala. Yo, this guy's actually down. Uh, this guy was 370 yesterday. So if we go through and maybe look at some of these squads, Depay is down a little bit. Awar is down. Uh, some of the midfielders today got hit in price because of the, like this is a perfect example. There's some cards that got hit in price today because of the center mid Kessie card that came out that was so easily attainable. Obviously, you see this was 500K for this Renato Sanchez Friday morning. By the end of the day, Friday, he's 416,000 coins just because of people selling this card to go get the free one from Objectives. And you're going to see this happen with some of the left wings, all right? I, I don't think I would expect it to happen a lot with a Neymar or somebody of that caliber, but maybe somebody that's like, um, I don't know, maybe a 500,000 coin left wing, maybe a Quincy Promes uh, or, you know, something like that might see it. Just some left wings could take a hit in price today if they are valuable left wings that people use. Maybe this Griezmann takes a small hit in price, 675 at the moment. Maybe he takes a small hit um, just because of people replacing whatever left wing they have, possibly with this Kent card. Maybe even a guy like Sun, right? People might try to link Vardy to Kent. Uh, and then like Hendo, of course, a lot of people have Henderson, you know, Rashford could be somebody who actually coming to think of it, this could be a card that maybe drops a little bit today due to the Kent hype. And it looks like it's already down. He was 350 K ish this morning. He's dropped a little bit in the midday to 300. Now he's kind of back to 310. Maybe this card continues to drop a little bit. I mean, he probably dropped a little bit because of Parasitch today. I would expect this card to drop more, um, in the coming Saturday uh, with the Kent card that will be uh, out as an SBC. So just be careful with some of the stuff today. I feel like people are going to start the weekend league sell off a little bit. And then also around every day at 6 p.m. UK, if you look at like, let's look at Rashford's graph. Like today, he was 340, 350. He went down to 300K. What happened on Thursday? He was like 309 at rewards, bounced up to 360, went back down to 330. Uh, and then, so I would just say, there's probably going to be some panic today at 6 p.m. UK on Saturday. Is there going to be a rebound into Saturday night? I would not really expect a much rebound on that many cards. Maybe maybe a few English cards, but at this point of the weekend, a lot of people are towards the end of their games uh, or even done with their games already. So we're nearing that weekend league sell-off period that I always am a little bit afraid of, and I would just be careful uh, just about some of that stuff this weekend. If you see some panic today, maybe you can do a quick flip or two so just be kind of careful with that. I still think stuff is going to go lower as we head out of the weekend. Because again, so many people are just absolutely uh, just so deep. And they've submitted so many cards. Some, so A lot of people's clubs are so dry right now at the moment. Because they have been submitting everything that they have in their club to do this SBC right here. And again, I, I've mentioned this multiple times. But it is perfect timing and perfect, um, you know, club management manipulation if that's a way we could put it like ea is really trying to get you to drain your club right now to do prime icon upgrades to drain you of your coins because this is a sweet sbc and they're going to continue to put out great sbc uh every day three days in a row now we've seen and we've seen parasitch now and then yes then then friday was the or excuse me thursday was the prime icon upgrade so we went and prime icon and now parasitch uh and other things have come out so it's three days of w's with the content, uh, crazy content for footies, so, or excuse me, for summer heat, which is basically footies this year. But again, that's taken to another level today with the first uh, voting SBC will be Ryan Kent. I mean, I think I saw some like Twitter polls and people were voting. Like they said, hey, did you vote for Ryan Kent? How many of you voted for him versus how many of you guys did not vote for him and voted for like Jovic and Musa? And one vote that I saw was like 66% um, Ryan Kent. So it, it, there is no doubt in my mind that Ryan Kent will win this vote. There's no doubt in my mind at all. Um, but yeah, that is kind of uh, what I'm expecting today. Uh, most people are probably going to do the Ryan Kent SBC and then just end up using him as a super sub and they won't actually buy players to link around him. 
but get ready to see that card ASAP tomorrow. I guess if I had to make a final prediction on what I think the Ryan Kent SBC is going to cost, if EA were super duper nice and they're going to continue the very good value SBCs, I would say probably like an 80 or 85 rated squad with the Tots player and maybe high chem, just like the Perisic SBC that came out today. Maybe they could go, I could easily see them doing a two squad, kind of like Ndombele, maybe like 84, 85 or 85, 86, because they know the amount of pull that Ken card is going to have and how many people are going to want to want him in their club. So there's going to be so many people that want to do that SBC today. And again, weekend league sell-off is going to be starting today. You're going to see a lot of uh, of dropping prices as the weekend league does sell off and as there is panic for people that need to do coins to get coins for the kent sbc and also if they drop a tradable pack supply sbc today as well which i think they should this team of the year challenge will go away the future stars challenge will still be here but i would expect one more uh like pack supply sbc today as well and that's all it's going to do is hit the market with more supply on all of these special cards that are in packs the shapeshifters and stuff like that. Let me check a few of those really fast. Some of these prices that I had been watching since earlier on in the week. Let me check like Lucas Mora. This guy was around 100K-ish. What is he now? Okay, he has definitely dropped a little bit. He's right around 90K, it looks like. Lucas Mora is somewhere around the 90K range. Uh, I, I'll go with the basic chem style to fill, find the new ones that have just been packed. 89K. So Lucas Mora is right around the 90K range. He was 100K earlier this weekend. I would not be surprised if this guy is 80,000 coins and possibly below that range uh, later this weekend just because of all of the, if there is tradable pack supply today and then people just finishing the weekend league. So just be careful with maybe any of those shapeshifters. Neymar Headliner is another very popular one. If you still got these cards, I would I would highly consider um, taking the coins on a lot of these ASAP because I do think they're gonna drop even further out of the weekend league just because they're in packs right this neymar is under 3.1 at the moment he's 3.095 is it what i saw there 3095 for the headliner neymar i think at this it's very very soon this neymar card will be dropping under 3 million coins just with all the new supply and uh and with the weekend league sellout so just be prepared for that you're going to start to see some of that stuff this weekend uh and then of course, with all the Ryan Kent SBC hype today, you're going to see if there's no tradable pack supply today, it's honestly baffling to see some of these prices where they are at. The really good, like we just looked at Deli Ali, right? And Deli Ali was 15,000 coins, 14,000 coins. Talk about an 85 rated Saul. Is this guy extinct? He's extinct. Are you kidding me? I guess his gold card is not in packs, so that does not help. But that's one of the major problems right now with these gold cards that are out of packs as well. So many gold cards are out of packs that it is increasing the prices because, you know, we've had the special cards that are in packs, right? Um, so a lot of the cheapest players on the market, and this is, again, is just very, very good market manipulation by EA Sports here, is they're using a lot of these special players and they're getting supplied, right? But let's say you get a Bergwine 86 rated, he's 18K, you gotta link him somehow. Like Deli Ali is 19K for his 86 rated. But a lot of people think gold cards when they go to fill out an SBC. And, you know, there's a lot of these gold cards are just crazy, crazy expensive because either they're not in packs or there's just so much demand for SBCs that people are turning this in. So, what I would say is if you can grind the Libertadores or Suit America method, please go do that. Or if you can do upgrade SBCs, if you have some coins for those, please do that because this, these SBCs are starting to be very expensive. And if EA requires 86, 87, 88 rated squads for any of the upcoming SBCs, it's going to get pricey, all right? Because people are running out of TOTS cards in their club, right? People have been submitting all the TOTS cards that are in their club for the past two, three days into the prime icon upgrade they're going to run out of those cards eventually some people are already just flat broke uh and they're going to have to start paying for these sbcs out of pocket which is just going to make the market go even lower if ea continues to release very hype cards very good voting choices and the summer showdown sbcs we haven't even seen one of those yet right we haven't even seen one of those maybe we'll see one for the games today on sunday or maybe ea is waiting until next week in the midweek to do one of those i don't know so yeah today i would expect the kent sbc hopefully pack supply and then just panic selling honestly i would expect selling across the board i don't know if i would expect like any cards to really go up that much today 
maybe a slight rebound Saturday evening on some cards and then mostly just the weekend league sell-off and people getting their coins to do all the menu content uh, throughout this next week and after they finish their weekend league. So that's kind of a market watch, market talk, whatever you want to call it video uh, on the channel today, especially that Kent SBC is a big one. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.